What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Back for another unboxing. Now, I've been waiting for over a year. Maybe two years. Uh, uh, maybe longer than that. Long time. I've been waiting for this. Ooh. I'm going to let you take a minute to guess what it is. No, don't read the title. It's a game. I'll give you that. I got time. You want to know what it is? You don't, okay. Gears of War. Oh, oh, that is my game right there. Gears of War 4. One, two, three, amazing. Judgment is not a Gears of War game. Any true Gears of War fan would tell you, Judgment is not, we, we don't count that one. That never existed. One, two, three, amazing. Now, we're on four. So, let's get right to the unboxing. Now, of course, naturally, I was never really going to get an Elite controller. Which just basically gave away what was in the box. Um, never really wanted an Elite controller. But, of course, Gears of War comes out and says, Hey, let's make it a limited edition Elite controller. Had to have it. Oh, oh, you all. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see that right there. The omen inside. That's sweet. And then, wow, what a presentation right there. So it definitely comes with a case. Absolutely amazing. Almost reminds me of my beat, uh, Beats case. It has a lancer right on top. So let's open that up. I see something inside, so it must be something under this. Oh my God, there is. Stop playing. Oh, what the hell is this? What the hell is that? Oh, stop playing. Why does it give me batteries? Oh, why do you give me batteries? Come on, man. They didn't give you a rechargeable battery with this? Damn, but it does give you your own cable, which is actually sweet. It has the dark uh, red on the cable. That's actually a pretty legit cable. That is sweet. Okay. And then, of course, it comes with a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, downloadable contents. Make sure I cover my code. You didn't see my code there, did you? Uh, pamphlets. We got pamphlets, books, and yeah, yeah, whatnot. Okay, let's get to the controller. Uh, yeah, let's put that right to the side. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. My God. Oh. Oh. God. Stop it. Oh, that is so legit. That's actually like a metal car tag right there. And I'm assuming this goes. That's sweet. It actually says. Uh, grub killer <laughs> on the D-pad and then of course it comes with this plate which is magnetized okay that's dope of course I'm gonna always leave that on I will always leave that on that's just sweet but it's sweet to know that it actually says something under it so that's that's badass actually um it actually does got some serious weight to it a little cushion and then of course it comes in with um more joysticks uh, you got the rounded, the more deep. I believe these ones are longer. Yeah, much longer. And I suppose that these are magnet, right? Yep, sure is. 
Yup. That's actually pretty dope. Um, I don't know if I'll ever use them. I think I like the shorties. But, of course, I would have to play with them find out. Uh, everything lines up here. You got more D-pad. You got a regular D-pad in there. Again, I would never use that because this thing right here is just nasty. It actually has the shotgun or uh, gas, uh, gas, shotgun, uh, chainsaw, the pistol, and then the grenades on top. So, of course, I'm going to keep that on because that's just sweet. Um, of course, I'm going to have to figure out how to use this. 50 million buttons everywhere. Sweet. Unbelievable. It's, oh, it feels right in your hands. I'm going to definitely have to get used to that. That's weird. It's one of those things, I mean, everyone tells me that you're just going to have to, oh, God, those are freaking in there. Oh, the scratches are actually in there. That is so sick. They're not just like decals or just printed. It is actually, you can feel the depth in the scratch. That's legit. Okay, that's dope. Um, Definitely got to get used to it. Now, remember they said this lot. There it is. So, of course, I'll be playing with that. It gives you a shorter trigger. Okay. But I like it. It feels good. It got the rubber on the back. Uh, D-pads are all metal, which is sweet. Or not. Oh, stop playing. Inside the actual D-pad, it says something. Never fight alone. Oh, that is dope. I'm going to have to try to get that on camera. I probably won't be able to, but it actually sits under the joystick, on your left joystick. Never fight alone as you move it around. That's sick. Okay, this controller is well worth it. Even if I don't even become understanding of all these buttons, but... Oh, I had to get it. A Gears of War Elite controller? Had to get it. Now, also, another thing is, is this came out way before, and then all of a sudden they presented, came out of nowhere, and was like, hey, we should make, you know, that new Xbox S, uh, One S is coming out with a new console, 4K Blu-ray player, 4K Ultra Blu-ray player, by the way. Um, let's make a Gears of War Limited Edition. What? I had to get it. Stop playing. Oh my God. Boxing, unboxing number two. Oh my God. Oh my God, I had to get it. Listen, when it comes to Gears of War, Oh my, that's my game. That's my game. Stop playing. They came out with the 360 a, a limited edition Gears of War controller. I had to have it. You think then I'm not going to get the S1, the Xbox One S? Oh, let's open it. And another thing is it comes with an Ultra uh, 4K Blu-ray player. I mean, come on, you look at the prices of just a Blu-ray player, of Ultra 4K Blu-ray player by itself, it's ridiculous. You buy the Xbox, you get the Blu-ray player as well as the Xbox, limited edition, the two terabyte hard drive. I mean, come on, this is well worth it if you got a 4K TV and you really wanted an um, Ultra K 4-way, uh, 4K Blu-ray player. I got a couple of uh, 4K Blu-ray DVDs that I've been buying over the time waiting for this. I'm dying to see what my full potential of my 4K TV is. Okay, so it has a nasty little introduction right there. That's sweet. A little omen right there, or a cog right there on the side. Comes with this. I don't know what this is, but let's look at it. Oh, okay. It just gives you all the little details that are in there. That's cool. Let's put that to the side. Definitely don't want to ruin that. Let's see what we got up in here. We got this, which is probably... Oh, wait. It got little booklets. Oh, that's my game. That's my actual game. It comes with a digital copy game, which kind of sucks. I kind of wish it would have came with the metal case um, uh, game, the actual CD. That would have been nice. Um, but whatever. At least I get the game. So there's that. All right. Pull this out. Let's see what this is real quick because there's definitely something up in here. Oh, that's the controller. Okay. Uh, HDMI cable. And the other controller which I'll probably never use. 
Oh, and then the power cord is on the other side. We might as well take a quick look at this real quick. Even though it wasn't as all exciting as that bad boy right over there, but let's take a look at this anyways. Again, batteries. Why don't they give us chargeable, um, rechargeable? Damn, man, this is actually dope. Too. Oh my God, those are deep scratches too. I love the fact that they took the extra time to do details like that. It's not just painting or uh, just a regular decal. It's, it's engraved. Those are depth scratches right there. That is sweet. Um, I love the X, Y, B, A. It's like scratch marks. God, the Xbox button being that red in there. Thumbprint. And I heard, I watched the video, um, Nelson. I, I can't think of his first name or whatever. That's his actual thumbprint. Like they took a molding of his thumbprint and put it right there. That's, that's kind of cool. It has a little bit of texture in the back right here on the inside. Not on the outside, but on the inside. Uh, it's just it's just texture. It's not like the controller where it's actually like that rubber good feel But I mean regardless that is sweet as well now Let's get right to the Xbox because I'm dying to see it as well So tuck this away real quick All right, let's get to that Xbox That red is so sick. Oh, it's dirty red, man. That red is so nasty. Oh, and again, real true engraving, man. Those are there. With the, the cog with the new omen on the back. Oh, that is so dirty. And there it is, that Gears of War console. Now there's supposed to be a stand up in this thing, isn't it? Maybe that's up in here. Oh, yeah it is. My game codes and all the other stuff. Yeah, there it is. There it is. It comes with a vertical stand. It actually stands correct. Let's figure out how to put this on. Oh, there it is. And there it be. The Gears of War 4 Ultimate Edition. Take that back. Gears of War 4 Special Edition. Xbox One S. So sick. Ugh. Now, one thing that sucks is today is actually Thursday. The 6th. And... The early release is tomorrow. So of course, I'm like super excited. I'm like, yes, you get into a day early. So I'm all ready. I can have it all set up. I can download my game. I can get on tomorrow ASAP and start playing the early access, the Gears of War 4 that I've been waiting forever for. <sighs> Unfortunately, I live in the beautiful sunshine state, Florida. I have a damn hurricane coming for me right now. A category four on top of that. So, in reality, I don't even know if I even have a house tomorrow to even freaking play. Um, so, we'll see how that goes. I might actually end up doing a little bit of um, recording of the hurricane. Uh, probably post that video if I survive. So... I won't be on tomorrow, probably the next day or the day after that. Uh, if my house survives, I will probably be out of electricity for a good week or so, who knows. But there's an unboxing of the Gears of War 4 console, Xbox One S, as well as the Elite controller. So, again, hopefully I will get to be on Gears of War 4 sometime. All right.
Well, there's another unboxing. Now I'm going to actually just box it back, box it back up. Yeah, Florida. <laughs>